You may know the surf break as castles, but my kupuna called this wave kalehuabehe, which in Hawaiian means the lehua flower lay removed. The mo'olelo of kalehuabehe starts with a handsome warrior, Kikoya Ka'alala, and his papahe inalu. As the warrior paddled his surfboard from shore, he wore a lehua lipo and a koi grin. His good looks got the attention of the Waikiki chiefess, Kahamalu'ihi, prompting her to paddle out after him. Hikoya Ka'alala paddled out past Kapua to a wave called Kaluahole. You probably know Kapua as old man's and Kaluahole as Thomas. Kahamalu'ihi followed Hikoya Ka'alala and the two sat in the lineup. The two surfers drifted to another surf spot, and since it was unusual for there to be waves at that surf spot, there was no name for the wave that they were surfing. While waiting for sets in this lineup, they chatted. The chiefess noticed the lehua lepo that Pikoya Ka'alala was wearing, and she said, I think I'd look fine with your lei. The warrior knew what the chiefess was insinuating, and he replied coyly, What lei are you talking about? Whatever lei one wears on their head, said Kahamaluihi. Then the warrior untied the lepo from his head and placed it on the neck of the chiefess. In excitement, Kahamaluihi jumped in the water and smelt the lei. Since Pikoya Ka'alala took his lehua lei and gave it to Kahamaluihi, they named the surf spot Kalehuebehe, a name that still has mana on this May Day.